Yo, top billing. I had to double back on my man Will Anderson Jr. I previewed him in the lead up to the SEC championship game, just marveling at how good he was with his blue collar sacks and his ability to continue to work and get home to the quarterback, play the run and do everything like that. He is just phenomenal. He's probably the best true freshman ever in one of these three, four defenses ran by either Nick Saban, Kirby Smart, or Jeremy Pruitt between the University of Alabama and the University of Georgia. And, uh, man, he didn't disappoint. I wondered if he could get some white-collar sacks just because I understand the makeup of Florida's offensive line and knew he'd be going against Gene Turnstile, DeLance, and he did just that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some of that on a film study. But I just wanted to show you, man, seven sacks for Will Anderson to finish SEC play, right, obviously playing in the SEC championship game. Man, I don't know if anybody's even close to that as a true freshman. Most of these guys you can think about – I either didn't do anything or they redshirted, right? Uh, we can go back to guys like Terrell Lewis, uh, even a Chris Allen that's playing right now. You have a five-star in Ayabi Anoma. He didn't do much of anything. Um, just anybody you can think of, even a guy like Nolan Smith for, from the University of Georgia, right? Remember Nolan Smith? Nolan Smith, man, you can't say he's done much. He probably has four total sacks or something like that. And he got the ability to play against uh, Tam Pax, School for the Blind, <laughs> and teams like that. Will Anderson did this shit against all SEC play. Nolan Smith was the number one player in the country. He looked like the goods coming out of high school. He could very well be that in his junior season next year. Uh, maybe he has a breakout game in a bowl game or whatever like that. But, man, he is nothing like Will Anderson. And Will Anderson coming out the 17th player in his own class. So imagine that. He's a five-star as well, both from Georgia. It's funny how Will Anderson wasn't as highly publicized as a Nolan Smith, man. He just worked hard, kept his nose to the grindstone. The next thing you know, dude is one of the best true freshmen we've ever seen at the position. So that's hard. And it's one of those things that I always tell people. That is a hard transition for kids because most of these guys are simply handing the dirt ends, and they have to learn how to be a linebacker at Georgia or a linebacker at Alabama. I mean, you have to work hook zone, flat duty, uh, work from a two-point stance. You have to cover and do all those kind of things as well. So that's why a lot of these guys end up not doing anything until later in their career. But let's go ahead and get to it. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Them in their sub package, this is their nickel package. So you have Will Anderson here at a six technique. Now, keep in mind, I talked about white-collar sacks versus blue-collar sacks on the last one when I said Alabama could heat Florida up like an ironing board, and they did exactly that. White-collar sack will be where you get the quarterback in his normal pass set. A blue-collar sack is where you're continuously working, and you eventually do get to the quarterback. It may not be all you're doing. Maybe somebody flushes them, and you can you can uh, continue to work, and then hey, you get your way to pay dirt that way. So white collar sacks is pretty much usually your own doing there so we see him here check this out definitely a white collar sack going against turnstile the lance there hit him with the hezzy boom fertilized my man kyle trask right there and caused a fumble one more time full speed oh hezzy of course gene the lance gonna get too far over his skis start working his feet like he always does but man you got to give props to the coverage as well Right, they're pretty much going uh, four verts here, four verts, and it's man on skill with the defense here. So it's a triangle defense. The two best players, perhaps in the damn country, right? Not named Devontae Smith and um, a couple of other players, but Kadarius Tony and Kyle Pitts can't be guarded. And I said that Alabama was going to have trouble with them in this game, and they did pretty much whatever they wanted. They're also getting vert here. Uh, getting vert there, but you can just see exactly how they're bracketing him. Uh, you can see the triangle defense between these three here. Same thing with Christian Harris, Daniel Wright, and Patrick Sertan here, even though both corners have a quarter of the field to work with working vertically. So this is very good defense there, so you got to give credit to nobody being open, but Will Anderson still gets that within the confines of a normal pass set. All right, here you go right here. If you see him, when he comes off the snap, I always love his pad level. 
Remember, he's an energetic guy. Every snap looks the same to him. Now look at him. Right now, sizing up DeLance. DeLance shoots. Look at DeLance. He sized him up, right? Hit him with the hezzy. He sized him up and then shot the art. DeLance counters with one hand. One hand. Look at him. Way too far over his skis. I want you to do this. This is almost like punching someone. So if you punch someone and they're agile and they give you half a man like Will Anderson just did Gene DeLance, he has no choice but to stop his feet. Now look at him. Trying to recover here. He's already lost a step. This man has too much dexterity, and he's way too explosive for you to have that type of technique. Look at him around the arc now. He's beat. Look at him. DeLance's up foot is this man's rear foot, <laughs> right? They're almost at the same level. He's done. Absolutely toast. Kyle Trash trying to wait for people to get open. But look, everyone's bracketed. Like I said, you had both players, uh, two deep shell. And then you have man under skill underneath and the guys working vertically on the quarters. So Kyle Trask tries to throw it, thinks better about it. Boom. Anderson does a great job. Think about that. Great job. A lot of these guys will hit somebody in the face to get a penalty. He just simply wraps up his arm. He knows that's going to be good enough. Forces a fumble and then has that man falling like a chick in a scary movie. Did it to him. Cold blooded. All right, they're clearly in their dime package this time. Anderson working from a two-point stance. Only two down linemen, Tim Smith and my man Chris Allen over here. Uh, he gets to work on the close side of the formation going against Kyle Pitts. Uh, blocking is definitely not his strong suit at this particular point in time. Uh, but he's going to make a trillion dollars catching the ball. And then he gets to go against Malik Davis, the running back as well. So this is definitely probably his best sack of the year as far as a white-collar sack. However, Got to consider the competition as well, but he destroys these boys. That's too easy. Bang. All right, go back on this right here. Really nothing to really phone home about, obviously. Kyle Pitts, he stepped forward first, so he know he don't know what's going on there. Kyle Pitts is out of his element. Malik Davis tries to, tries to step up, but, man, Will Anderson came on campus with an NFL body as a true freshman, gets into his chest, right, straightens his spine out, realigns his spine, once again, fertilizes Kyle Trask. What's Kyle Trask doing? Oh, he's about to fumble almost. Uh, Will Anderson doing a good job of almost getting the ball out each time. Bang. Spread your herb ass on the grass like fertilizer. What's Kyle Pitts talking about, man? He, he don't know what's going on, man. He got hit with the he got hit with the okie doke. He don't know what's going on. He's like, well, what happened? All right, Bama back in nickel here. Chris Allen bumped out to the close side of the formation being a, as this is Kyle Pitts. But this is a three-by-one with snug formation here, those nasty splits. And my boy right here just simply runs the hula hoop, just a complete hustle play. Uh, tackle right there that just shows you his hustle, his energy, speed, dexterity, agility, everything. Got him. <laughs> Come on, this is your true freshman. Where is he going to be at next year and the year after that? He's one of these dudes, I think, if they could come out as true freshmen, he could be a real hot draft pick, man. He's already built for it. But look, of course, the Lance here struggling, stopping, running his feet there. If he was just barely lucky, Kyle Trash stepped up in the pocket, but it didn't matter. My man was going to reset and continue to work anyway. And of course, that's what he does, baby. <laughs> Will Anderson. I like what they were doing right here. When they were working out of their nickel package, sometimes they would have Chris Allen on the bump out and inside of him was Will Anderson. So you have your two best pass rushers working in tandem here. And um, Will Anderson makes this play without making the play, if you get what I'm saying. He beats his guy, trash steps up, and Chris Allen gets it. One more game right there. You see it both working on the outside portion of this. You can see they're almost mirroring each other right here. Anderson does a good job of beating Stuart Reese on the inside, forcing Kyle Trask to step up. He gets ran out to play, but Chris Allen continues to work, gets himself a blue-collar sack, tries to strip the ball. I like how they're doing that. All right, last one right here. It's not all about sacks with this kid. Like I said before, he's a complete player. Uh, you can see Daniel Wright coming with filling and spilling for the C-gap, and he runs it. The play back inside where Will Anderson collects the tackle here. Savage, too. Jakob. Ooh, look at the physicality by both Daniel Wright running into the 
right tackle. See him right here. He takes on that C gap, trying to force force it back inside. Then watch Will Anderson going against Stuart Reese. Fill the hole. Fill the hole. Head to the outside, just like you teach it. Bang. Stonewall Jackson's it. Stonewalled. All right. There you have it. Another one, man. Alabama, they keep pumping them out. They have a super talented defense. They have to be able to put it together, though, against elite-level offenses. And they will definitely see an elite-level offense in the playoff in the national championship game. But ain't nothing to it but to do it. But we'll get to it when that arrives. Until then, it's your boy Murph, the Underground King. Make sure you like this. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend about this. Share it. And make sure you subscribe. And I'm out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.